Okay, I just wanted to make a quick demo of some fun thing I've been playing with. I got this little USB adapter, keyer adapter from Ham Radio Solutions. It's the simplest possible little microcontroller. You plug your key into it and it emulates a keyboard. So then you can just plug it into a regular computer, the USB, and it turns your left and right paddles into left and right control keys. So no drivers, no, no nothing. It works with Windows, works with Mac. You can even use an adapter and use it on your phone. At least I've done it on an iPhone. Uh, so it's kind of fun. And what they've built it for is for this uh, V-band. So if you go to ham dot, hamradio.solutions slash V-band, then you can get on this V-band and they have a bunch of different channels. You can maybe go into the practice channel. And as you key, it's doing, it's sounding on the computer and it's sending the keys and you can uh, send in the characters and you can communicate with other people. If you go to the store tab, you can purchase the device. It actually looks a little bit different in real life. The, the current version is a little bit skinnier than the picture there. It's pretty much as small as you could possibly get it, but uh, it's uh, 25 bucks plus shipping. But I wanted to use this for Ultimatic. If you've seen my other videos, you know I like Ultimatic, and uh, they don't seem to support Ultimatic yet. They do A, B, and uh, straight keys. So I built my own little keyer. It's also just using JavaScript, uh, just like the V-band stuff, but I support Ultimatic. And just like in the videos that you might have seen, I've got this little visualization that shows the state of the paddles. So you can practice keying and see, you know, what's happening, why, why it's generating these things in different modes and things like that. But one piece I wanted to demo that uh, I just found it kind of fun, nifty to do, but uh, I don't think it's something I'll actually ship because it's because. <laughs> you know, I have my own little keyer, microcontroller keyer that you plug the key into one end and the radio in the other end and all the logic happens on the microcontroller. And that's probably the best way to do keying instead of doing it in JavaScript. But I just thought it'd be interesting to take this thing, plug it straight into the computer, and allow you to connect, uh, in this case, with a 705 over Bluetooth, so no wires even. You can just connect to the, to the 705, and you can key it. Maybe that's not very impressive, because you can't really tell. I'll take it off the, the thing here. So. No wires at all, just in midair, and uh, and you can key it. Here it's uh, powers at zero. There's no antenna anyway. I'll set break in so you can see. That's keying the radio, and so it's just doing it from a web page. It's pretty cool. And then on top of that, uh, the protocol to talk to this radio is pretty simple. And so I've done a few other things, like if you adjust the, the keyer speed as I turn this knob. Actually, it's not freaking working. What? Oh, it is. It is. Ah, it's just a little bit delayed. It's so like here, I'll grab the knob. I'll turn it down to, you know, 18 words a minute. And on the web page, 18 words a minute. And vice versa, if I change the, the speed here. 24, then on the radio magically, pink 24. And same thing with the pitch. So I can adjust the, the frequency here, and it updates here, and vice versa. So it's kind of fun. You can sit and key the radio with just a simple key plugged into the computer, with USB, no other wires than, than that. The only problem is that there's this slight delay in the protocol, especially over Bluetooth. I can't really feel it. it. It feels pretty, pretty good actually. But I'm sure that in some cases, you know, it'll be just an ever so slight delay, which you wouldn't get if you had an actual microcontroller doing the work. But it's kind of fun.